James Kaufman, World News Report today, October 6th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, the JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, has just announced an inbound NEO near-Earth object. This is 2024 TW2. And this was just announced today. It's inbound for tomorrow, October 7th. We're going to go over this and see how close the shave is going to be. It's going to pass between the moon and Earth. Looks like it will be closer to Earth than the moon. And, well, we only have one day to go forward here. And that's the close approach there tomorrow on October 7th. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this rock is at some sort of inclination. Not a huge rock. It's about 30 feet in diameter, according to what they know so far. But it's moving at 17 kilometers per second, which is very, very fast for a near-Earth object. Again, 2024 TW2. Let's go ahead and get some additional information on this near-Earth object. You can see that it orbits inside the orbit of Jupiter. I'm going to bring you some information about the rock. Again, it's just over 30 feet in diameter, they think. And again, it's moving at close to 17 kilometers per second, which is one of the fastest near-Earth objects or space rocks that I've seen. They actually released the data today, October 6th. You'll see the solution date up here being today. They've only saw the rock yesterday on the 5th. So they've only observed the rock for one day. 27 total observations. Our condition code is 7. Zero, meaning they know exactly where the rock is going. Nine, meaning they have real high uncertainty. Obviously, seven is a very high condition or dangerous condition code. Of course, the rock was spotted by our AI software automatic. And we're going to get some close approach timing now. Now, looking at close approach data with such few observations, they've only been able to extrapolate four close calls, one of those to Mars, and that was in 2018. This is headed inbound tomorrow at 1114 UTC time. It's going to be 514 Central Time tomorrow morning on the 7th. That's the close approach to Earth. The nominal, minimum, and maximum distances are generally the same, 0 0.001 versus 0 0.002 to the moon. So we can generally say that this rock is going to be twice as close to Earth as our moon when it shoots between the two. Now, I worked out the 0 0.001 astronomical units into miles, and it's right around 90,000 miles. Now, the problem is, is we have a condition code that's very high, which means there's high uncertainty as to where the rock is really headed. And again, it has decent inclination, and it's moving at a very rapid speed. So it would be a rock that could break through our atmosphere if they're wrong about its path. Now, it's going to make its close approach to the moon tomorrow at about 717 central time here in the u.s looks like its next close approach will not be that close at all and that will come in 2027 so with that said we have a decent sized space rock that's going to pass between earth and the moon tomorrow morning it's going to make its close approach to earth around 515 it very well could have friends they most often do and it has a high condition code of seven meaning they're very uncertain as to where it's going 
with only one day of observations, 27 total observations by our automatic AI software. This is 2024 TW2. Now, JPL and NASA are hardly ever 100% correct, but let's say that I hope that this rock's far away from Earth that it doesn't enter our atmosphere. With that said, please share this information. Please subscribe if you haven't. And always remember, ladies and gentlemen, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.